Ah, thank you so much. Wonderful to be here. What a wonderful group of people. Thank you so much, Vision, all the gang that put it all together. It's yes, wonderful. welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, well, let me tell you what we're going to do that's even better than telling you everything you need to know about <laughs> relationships in an hour. We're actually going to do it in a half an hour. Okay? <laughs> or we don't need no hour to do something <laughs> Or like 40 that. minutes at most. But one of the things we have planned for you today is you're going to see a married couple do something in public that I bet you've never seen them do before. <laughs> actually, a mature married couple, too. An old married couple. Mm -hmm. In fact, we are here just having celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary. <laughs> and I got to tell you that what we are going to share with you are things that we've explored. We call them kitchen and bedroom tested. And Everything that we're going to share with you are things that we learned in our own relationship and have been sharing with people over many years. And the thing that's so exciting about this that we didn't really know about is that the act of really loving another person and receiving love allows you to rekindle your romance over and over again. It allows you to rekindle your romance with yourself as well as with other people. And you can keep discovering. Have you been in uh, restaurants ever and you've seen two people who are sitting and they're both kind of looking off into the middle distance <laughs> and then eating? Yeah. So that's not the future that I want for you. And it wasn't the future I wanted for us. And so everything we're going to share with you is designed to help you expand your ability to give and receive more love every day. So now the other thing we want to give you, anybody here single? OK, great, perfect. That's OK. That's great. <laughs> because. I'm going to give you the greatest pickup line in the history of Western civilization. True that. We well, might as well go ahead and do that. They seem to like that idea. I think they okay. like that, yeah. OK, roll the clock backward, now 32 years. And I had just had an amazing enlightenment experience in the middle of an argument with my then girlfriend that I'd been kind of on and off with for a long time, and five years or so, and suddenly in the middle of an argument, I realized that it wasn't our 500th argument, it was our 500th version of the same argument. And I suddenly realized how I caused every single relationship problem I ever had by doing one of a couple of things. One was I would not tell the truth about something, and so I would have some big lie I was hiding inside. And then, of course, if, as you know, if you are hiding a lie, suddenly the other person starts looking bad. You know, it's just part of that projection. <laughs> and so I had this realization, wow, if I just told the truth all the time in my close relationships, I would solve that problem. And the second thing I realized was I caused all my relationship problems by blaming, when things got under stress, I would blame the other person rather than going, hmm, what's my contribution to this? And so I think if I could just fix those two things, then I might be able to have a chance at having a good relationship. So the next month, oh, oh, I should tell you, you're manifestation enthusiasts. I should tell you that I uttered a prayer to the universe right after I finished this set of thoughts I'm talking about. I said, I want a person in my life that I can be absolutely myself with, and they can be themselves with me. And I also want a person where we can make our relationship about positive energy rather than fighting all the time and criticizing each other and that kind of thing. And I said to the universe, if it's not in the cards for me to have that, okay, I'll be okay by myself. But I promise you this, I'm never going to settle for less. Okay, so that was my manifestation thought. So the next month, I came walking into a room in Menlo Park, California, and there was about 50 people in the room, 
And I looked over there and I saw the most incredible glowing aura of a human being I had ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I, I realized I've got to make some excuse to go talk to her, you know? And so one thing and the other happened. An hour later, I was still trying to figure out how I was going to make my move, you know, how I was going to go talk. And so I finally get my courage up, and just as I start to walk toward her, she's walking toward me. That's how manifestation works. Because I'm coming up to ask him a question, because this moment where he saw me, I also saw him where we recognized each other and there was this that happened for who knows how long. So I was still kind of reeling with that, but then when he opened his mouth and started talking, I said, this is the most brilliant person I've ever met and also very funny. Okay. So I was coming up to ask him a question. So I... As she opened her mouth, and here comes your great pickup line. Okay, listen up, <laughs> single people. I said, you know, I feel very attracted to you. <laughs> See, this was me being honest, okay? Oh. This was me solving my first relationship <laughs> problem always. It was just telling the truth. And so I said, I feel very attracted to you. And I was going to come over to make up some reason to talk to you because I really wanted to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so, but, My question, of course, has completely dissolved. I have never 